pastor Keon Henderson was on Cam Newton's podcast, and they were talking about OnlyFans girls. Let's see what they had to say. And I had that conversation with my mom. She does this maid program, mothers and daughters, and it's it's one of them situations where I'm like, man, mom. This person that's on OnlyFans, she needs you. Don't judge her. You got, a, you got a vulnerable soul that you can either crush or you can flourish. And you can teach that person. People come to church for a place of refuge. You know what I'm saying? It, it, ain't, it ain't on no... I know I'm messed up. <clears throat> and you don't need to come and hear me for an hour tell you that you are. Well, I think there's two things that's happening because on the merit, I agree. I agree. The girl on OnlyFans needs the missionary, but it's a girl in the choir that ain't on OnlyFans, but she doing OnlyFans stuff. So the girl that's on the platform ain't worse than the girl that's in the choir. So what am I supposed to do as the man of God or the woman of God, like me and your mom do this for a living? Well. Yes, you are supposed to be able to come and tell me about what you got going on. Ain't that what the woman at the well did mm -hmm. when she was with Jesus? And she says, Jews ain't supposed to be talking to Sumerians. And Jesus says, I know. And by the way, since we're talking, you didn't have five husbands. Come on. And the one you with, that ain't your husband. So he already knows. N number one, we ain't got to tell God nothing. Mm -hmm. This is the problem that we think that because we don't admit it, he don't know. God already knows. But it is also the job of the minister or the pastor to say to you or me, let me use me for an example, not you, to mm -hmm. say to us the same way a doctor would. Hey, if you don't stop smoking, it's going to kill you. Mm. If you don't stop drinking, your liver going to shut down. I can't hold back the bad news because you're going to be offended. I got to tell you what activity you are in that will lead, as the scripture says, and therein leads to death. So I can't be your homie at the expense of being your leader. Come on. Mm -hmm. But I can be your leader. And you respect me as a homie, because if I gain that respect as your guy, right. I should also be able to tell you about God. I think the sweet spot is in the middle that you trust me enough to tell you what's right and wrong. Mm -hmm. And I got enough respect and honor for you as a human being to know that you are a person in the making. We are human beings, not human. Be is he talking to Cam? Yeah. Is he telling Cam what he wants to really say? Or is he, is he saying like, because to me it sounds like in this situation, he could be setting up a conversation to tell Cam, I'm about to tell you the truth. No, it didn't sound like he was about to tell Cam the truth, but I think he was. I do think he effectively challenged what Cam Newton was trying to say. I think Cam was trying to say, hey, you know what I'm saying? Only fan girls, you know, it's wrong, but, you know, don't give them a hard time, that kind of thing. But I do think his his rebuttal to him, I think it was a rebuttal. I don't know if Cam knew mm -hmm. that, but it was a rebuttal that no – I have to be, regardless of if you're on OnlyFans or you're doing dirt in the choir, which both yeah. are true. Yeah. I have to, as a pastor, be able to tell you this is going to hurt you. Well, sure. Even if it makes you feel bad, even if you get mad at me, I have to tell you the truth. If I don't tell you the truth, then I'm, I'm not a leader. I'm not helping you at all. Mm. And I think Cam was kind of leaning to, you know... So what? She's our only fan. And Cam always kind of leans to everybody can kind of do whatever they want. That That's yeah, kind of what the end idea, result of, yeah. of what he's saying, because that's what he wants to do. He wants to kind of be able to do whatever yeah. he wants. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I just think at some point he's going to have to realize, no, you can't. You have a God that you have to serve. You have to do what he wants. Yeah. And, and it's not just your opinion of what he wants. There yeah. is a standard that's obvious in the Bible. So yeah. I, I just hope that that message came through. That just because if I tell somebody on OnlyFans you're doing something wrong, this is mm -hmm. going to hurt you. This is not the right way to get money, fame, whatever it is that you're seeking. Yeah. That's not the right way to do yeah. it. That is not wrong to say to somebody. What the pastor was saying was it is better if you have the respect of the person first. Right. 
that I agree with that. It's yeah. better. It's it's better for me to tell Ryan if he's doing something wrong than some random person on the internet to tell Ryan that he's doing something wrong. Yeah. He's not going to listen to that sure. person. Sure. So it's better if you have some sort of relationship with the person. Yeah. Uh, but you still have to tell him the truth. You're not really a friend if you see your friend drinking themselves to death and you don't say nothing. Right. Yeah, that's a hard. I mean, I'm saying it's a hard one, but it's hard to it's hard to be in those situations and you know um, have the right words at that moment, like. There's something that you tell the girl in the choir that's different than you tell the girl on OnlyFans. What's the difference? So the difference is you got to start talking about impact for both, right? But not only the impact for... So the young lady, she's doing OnlyFans things, you know, uh, from the choir. In the choir, she's doing that with another person or other persons. Mm -hmm. The person on OnlyFans is affecting... A lot of people. A lot of people. True. And the mindset is, um, I'm making it, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're now you're entering people's marriages. You're entering people's everything. Like, this is a soul tie coming out of this. Like, there's a lot of damage coming out the OnlyFans situation. And so, yes, the conversation is, is, is the same. You want their hearts to be turned toward the right thing to do. But the conversation you have with the OnlyFans, girl, you got to unpack a whole lot more. Because, like, um, uh, what's her name? Um black china says she was like she was making good money on only fans and she had and she kept telling her pastor like i'm gonna give it up next week oh but it's another you know she was making millions in a month on only fans <laughs> so she's like i'm gonna give it up next week oh, it's another seven million i just stacked though hold on let me think about this all right i'm gonna give it up next month right and then it became the point where she was sitting in a service or something she said that the conviction just overtook her like, was like nope i'm giving it up today i'm giving it up all right mm. and so the only fans person now you're talking about the type of money that they're making the lifestyle they're living versus the girl in the choir who's like i need to shut this down because this is going to destroy my walk with christ you're right? missing everybody only fans is rich no, 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 no. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. I'm Everybody saying, ain't doing that well. I'm saying. I'm saying between. Um, was it Whoa Vicky? You talking Black about the famous China? people? I'm talking. Yeah, about I'm talking regular, about regular, regular, regular. I know about. I, have, I don't know. Dude, what about the regular girl on OnlyFans? I have no idea well, what my, she's making because I can't my, imagine. My point is, I don't know if I agree. I, I think the lady in the choir doing OnlyFans stuff <clears throat> actually probably is worse than the girl on OnlyFans that ain't part of the church at all, because what you're teaching people is. This is a performance. Mm, this doesn't really mean I anything to me. I, I disagree. I, I disagree with you. So yeah. the point is, <laughs> the person who is standing on stage saying, I represent Jesus. I represent Jesus. I'm praising God on your behalf and I'm helping lead you into worship. Mm -hmm. I don't actually believe this because I go and do dirt when I leave here. That to me is super damaging. <sighs> yeah, it's damaging. I, but I also would say, is that person dealing with... Um, is that person dealing with a sin issue that is their flesh? You know what I'm saying? So like, like I mean, in, I can't say this in my church. So in my situation, I know that there was a leader in the choir mm -hmm. that was sleeping with a lot of people. Yeah. And it was like, it, it was like, oh boy, okay. You love the Lord, right? Yeah, you read your Bible, Bible every day, right? Yeah, but I'm struggling with this this situation, bro. This 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 came from the world. It followed me into the church. I'm still dealing with. It. I'm still struggling with it. So I feel like you know, like that, people people have literally dropped dead in church for doing stuff like that. I know. Like this is serious. It's not just like, oh, hope you get it right, brother. Like, no, you're damaging people. But, but I feel like I feel like God is giving us those those um those opportunities to to get it right. Before rap, not you know if you're hurting saying? other people. Like what I'm saying is, if you are saying, mm -hmm. "I am, a, I'm going to stand on a stage," there's more responsibility for you. God, God, yeah, of there's, course. There's a warning for people who want to be leaders. Of course. If you get up and you say you represent me, and then you do exactly what they do when you leave, to me, that's worse than somebody who's just, "I am a OnlyFans girl." But what if? Okay, so. They're doing OnlyFans things, that, that, what especially it, with other people in the church. So then, my 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 hesitation is still um, give that heart grace because why not the OnlyFans girl? Because on the they're they're trying to get it right with the Lord. 
How do you know that? I would imagine you, ah, oh, man, you see now you're trying to pull this. Like, <laughs> you're not going to have me on, on social media looking crazy. Um, I just, I'm just saying, like, I, I, I think too many people are comfortable being church choir or pastors or youth leaders and, and they're doing dirt behind the scenes. It's too comfortable just because they feel like they have some sort of grace. I don't think you have as much as you think you do. Like, that's dangerous because you're teaching people, especially the people you're involved with, that this is not real. Your 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 message to them is this is a this is a show this is a play that we do on Sunday. It's not serious because my life is not impacted by it one bit. That's I remember dangerous. I remember having a conversation with a Christian <coughs> hip hop artist that came to the studio, and we were just having this conversation. And I was like, "Yeah, bro, how you been, man? I'm doing good, man." I was like, "Yeah." I was like, uh, "You got any new music coming out?" Yeah, I got some new music coming out. I was like, "Okay, but you know what's." What's uh what's 2020 whatever looking like? Man, I'm hoping I can get this monkey off my back, man, and, and end this porn addiction that I have. Real transparency. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. All right. It didn't mean that he didn't love the Lord. Yeah. It didn't mean that he was up on stage rapping something fake. He was just admitting to his brother in Christ. He was, you know, confessing his sins one another that he was really dealing with something. Mm-hmm. And so I looked at that and I was like, bro, I... I'm going to pray for you. Absolutely, man. Let's let's pray. You see what I'm saying? So to me, I was like, I didn't I didn't judge his heart. I didn't judge where he was. I was just like, yo, he's really trying to get this right. He's okay. telling me that hopefully by confessing this, that he's going to get some type of release from this. Like he's trying to really get this right. Sure. What if the young lady in the choir is the same situation, but this is just her her uh her level of her level of porn? You may you the recommendation may be if you're if, Step how, down. how are you doing are you doing well or are you doing badly if you're doing badly you may want to chill for a second until you figure it out because the same thing you would say to a pastor if a pastor was yeah. sleeping with somebody in the church you want to be like work through it brother get up there and <laughs> preach another message while you're working through it while come you're working through somebody else's wow. wife come out the choir yeah you, you need to chill yeah, 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 like yeah. get it right like yeah. this is not like optional like well, these I are think things you, you gotta yeah, fix. You definitely step down until a guy works on your heart on those things but but yeah i mean Oh, man, just that. I mean, I see the poll. The poll is, you know, eighty percent folks is like the girl in the choir. I just, I'm, I'm just, just saying, like, I'm just saying, like, I've, uh, like, even in my own life, I don't, I want to speak for anybody else, but to me, like, when you're doing bad, I, when you have a leadership position or you're in front of people and people look at you as an example, mm-hmm. and you know that you're struggling big time and you're not living up to it outside of the world, outside of church. It's it's the 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 conviction is stronger. You have to fight through a lot of conviction to continue doing that stuff. And if you do, you might need to chill for a second because you, you're, something's wrong. Something's wrong when you have you when you have the uh, accountability of people are looking up to you. You you get in front of people and you say God loves you, God forgives you, God God wants mm-hmm. you to come closer to Him, and then you go and and doing old stuff, stuff with old girl. There's something missing. Wow. Yeah. How how do you how can you do that? Like that's hard. You're you're literally faking it. Yeah. So Benita says, mm-hmm. I don't believe in holding the world to biblical standards. So someone who is perpetrating to be a believer is expected to act and li- act like it. We are expected to live sanctified lives. So. But what if you are a believer and you're doing OnlyFans? Black China mm-hmm. says she was a believer. She was still doing OnlyFans until. She was able to finally get convicted and walk away from it. That's why calling yourself a this or a that means nothing to me. It's it's your heart posture. Right. I Absolutely. If you're currently doing OnlyFans mm-hmm. and you currently call yourself a, a believer, believer, then you something is wrong. Yeah, for sure. If you're currently in the choir and you're currently doing OnlyFans stuff, something is wrong. If you're headed away from that life, praise God. If you're headed towards it or living in it and don't care, there's something wrong. There's something mm-hmm. wrong. So yeah. I don't care what they call themselves or yeah. I believed in Jesus. No, there's some, if you can sit in sin and stew in it mm. and not feel anything, right. there's something wrong. That's scary. That's yeah. that's probably the most scary thing that you don't even feel convicted. Wow. You can still do it while you feel convicted. That's scary. Yeah, I agree. I that's agree. scary. I so agree. that that's the only thing I would say is we I think we excuse that too much. There's too many pastors and too many choir members and too many podcasters and too many rappers that are living nasty lives and we're just like, well, they say they're a Christian, so okay. 
Yeah, I mean, I would say this though, it's it's happening in every church. That's, that's it's happening that's in every sad. church. That's really sad, and it's hard to. I mean, the situation at my church was so bad. I was just like, oh, okay. Like I never would have imagined it was like that. I, I just want to say, like, there's grace for all of this, but there's no excuse. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Grace. There's grace for you, but there's no excuse. Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He didn't just say, it's all right, man. Mm. He had to die. Like, it's serious. Yeah, 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 you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. I think sometimes we think it's like, you all right, man. You good. Yeah. It's not you good. I had to take nails in my hands for you. Jeez. It's serious. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that, that's the only thing I'll say. 